Hey everyone! Today I'm playing in my mixed media art journal. I'm going to be using a bunch of different papers from magazines, uh, tissue paper, napkins, that type of thing, and I'm going to be applying it with uh, the Liquitex matte medium. It seems to be the best thing I've found for adhering all types of paper. I'm not too concerned where I'm putting everything because this will be my first layer and I don't like to fall in love with my first layer because then it's too hard to cover it up with paint and more uh, papers. Make sure you dry each layer, that's important because your page can get pretty wet after two or three layers. Um, with this first layer I'm going to be covering it kind of sparsely with some gesso and I'm going to be using a um, gift card or a credit card that type of thing something that's a little bit stiff um, so it can scrape and this kind of gives it a nice grungy look which I like and just kind of slightly um, covers the images but you can still see um, they're not completely disappeared and then I like to put um, stenciling on top and um, or you can use uh, textured paste if you want um, this stencil I'm using here is a Tim Holtz stencil and I'm using uh, Americana paint and it's just I don't you really use the whole stencil, just bits and pieces of it. I find it looks kind of neat that way. Um, and now I'm putting a little bit of black Americana paint around the edges just to grunge it up a little bit. So as you can see it's just layer after layer after layer on top of each other. Um, it just gives it a really neat effect. And there we go, that's dry, and now I'm wanting to put a word on the Explorer from um, Crafters Workshop, and I'm using, um, it's got a little bit of the yellow ochre and gesso. Now it didn't come out as clear as I wanted it, so I'm going to reapply the stencil and just use a pit pen and go around the left side so it kind of looks like a a shadow of the word and that kind of looks cool. You can play with this, you could put a, another color if you wanted to. Um, just play with it until you like it. Um, this is the nice thing about uh, doing the backgrounds is if you don't like it just cover it up. <laughs> re it and try again. Um, there's really no mistakes with this type of uh, mixed media work. So there it is and I'm pretty happy with the way it's turned out and the next part I'll be doing is using a picture from my um, drawings. Okay so what I've done here I finished the background uh, as far as I want to go and now I think I want to reuse some of the drawings that I've done. I have one drawing of Don, Johnny Depp in, when he was in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean and I have two um, sizes here so I'm not sure what size I'm going to use yet but I'm going to cut these out and um, decide what how I want to put it. I could put it on this way or I could turn it around and put it on the portrait um, style. So we'll fast forward this part as I fussy cut these out. Now I could just put it on like this if I wanted to but I kind of like to incorporate it into the background. So I'm just going to 
kind of fussy cut around his hair. I can always add little bits of hair and stuff um, over top so I don't have to worry about you know doing every single strand of hair. So it would probably look good on this side like this. Um, or I could do it just like that. could put it up a little further and put something on the bottom. Um, let's cut out the other one now. See how, it might be just too big. We'll see. <clears throat> okay. So this pretty well takes up the whole page. <clears throat> so I think that'll be too big. Okay. I think I'm going to use a small one then. So, maybe like that. Let's see. So if I put it like this. I think it goes better on this right here. Yeah, I think I'll just do that. Okay. So I still have some matte medium here when I uh, pulling everything down. I've already sprayed this um, with a spray fixative because it was um, photocopied or copied from my printer. It's just a inkjet printer. So we don't want to smear the um, ink. So we'll, you have to spray it with a fixative first. And that way you can lay it down without worrying about having the uh, ink run. Try to get all the bubbles out as you can. I like using the um, printer paper because it's thin and it doesn't buckle as much. Okay, so we've got that down. So we're going to dry it. <clears throat> now I'd like to have it the bottom instead of having it square looking um, it'd be nice to have it incorporated into the background a little bit just always gives it a nice finished touch so I do have a little bit of um, the color here and I'm just gonna Add a bit of just so it, it looks a little more cohesive. There's a little bit of black here, and I can just use my finger a lot. It would look nice if you could um, use whatever you've done on here um, that had these forks. So some of these could uh, be put in. You can always tear them. It looks nicer if they're torn than um, a straight edge to it. 
think that would look kind of nice. I'm going to put that on. Again, matte medium. In here, I could always get a picture of a ship. Um, maybe a drawing would look cool, uh, or just leave it as it is. Um, you know, it looks pretty good as it is, and I think I could always um, darken the drawing a little bit in certain areas so I can bring the black into it. Um, like say his eyes be a little bit darker people <clears throat> nose depends how plus you want to get looks good on its own so um, I think I'll put a little bit more of a highlight in his eye that always looks nice and then we'll dry it again done and there it is so I'll just uh, bring you in a little bit so you can take a better look so just incorporate it into the picture so give this a try you don't have to do your own drawing if you don't want to. You could do uh, black and white photographs or colored photographs, but just add them onto your backgrounds. I think it's a neat way of um, doing collage. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye.